Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, social media. Uh, make a long story short today, or yeah, let's make a long story short today. We have a box in front of us that says Fragile, but the real important information is on this side. I haven't shaved today, I'm wearing a sweat jacket, and the reason is uh, we were supposed to go pick up these little boxes, a whole bunch of them, uh, at the airport. And uh, what happened was somebody stole our catalytic converter on uh, the truck that we were supposed to go pick these up in. So ended up having to get another truck um, and racing there uh, to the airport this morning because we are short-handed today. Um, it is November, it's starting the flu season, people on vacation and so forth. So part of my appearance of not shaving here. Uh, but in here, we have a surprise. And uh, the surprise started about eight weeks ago when a company called, this is the logo right there, okay? Company called Maccap, we say Maccap, but Maccap, who produces commercial grinders, emailed us and called us and said, hey Jim, we're coming out with a new grinder. We think you're gonna like it. And um, you'll be the first to carry it. This is why we went to the airport. Because these little beauties, okay, were flown in from Italy. Again, commercial grade. And you might see some social media stuff going on out there. But here we say the Leo 55. And it's an instantaneous grinder. Of course, you see first line equipment. And this is not the essential. This is the Leo 55. So I got my tr trusty scissors here. We're gonna take the straps off. We're gonna open this up. And again, this is probably gonna be one of the first videos out there, I think so. Uh, they literally just, just brought them in because I raced over there to get these. But people think I, you know, I don't sit behind a big desk like some of my competitors do. I get involved and people know that. We had a customer come in today, spoke with him directly. Very, very happy with a brand new machine. Uh, he actually drove in from another state about five hours. So we do have customers who come and visit and we actually like that. Uh, so let me get this open. I haven't reviewed this grinder. I haven't read the instructions. I have done nothing except seen a couple of videos and promos for it. Uh, but sight unseen, we did purchase them because we do believe in the company. So let's, uh, maybe I don't need the scissors. Let's, let's show you a little trick here, how, what we do with these straps. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh, this side's gonna be on a little bit on a rough side here because there's a slot. So that slot right there. So if you get one of these, again, made in Italy. They have a glass symbol on here and probably because of the bean hopper. And it is a docile. Oh, see, we got the one off. We didn't need our trusty scissors. This is the better way to do it. Let's see if we could do the other side. Okay, this is what you call fighting with the box. Okay, we get that there. Is it easier to break it with scissors? Absolutely, there's actually, you can pull on the strap, you turn this over and pull on this, but this grinder will probably get sold as, most likely will get sold as a demo. Okay, let's see how we open this. There we go, look at that. We have our instruction manual right there. So Leo 55, Leo 55 Essential. Uh, Essential is probably the uh, more uh, economical grinder. And let's see how we get this open. Pull that out. Let's see here. Oh, we got our packaging here. What's good about this video is that if we ever have to test these and repackage them, we know how to do it. Just watch the video. Whoa, man, this is, this is a heavy grinder. Uh, it does have 390 watts from what I've seen. Uh, this is definitely different packaging from uh, before from Mac Hat. Here's the bean hopper and looks like the box is empty. Let's put this back in here, save this so we don't lose it. that box down. Okay, bean hopper. 
Uh, they have a staple in here. I personally don't like staples uh, because they end up scratching the units. I wish they would get rid of the staples. Uh, I guess they want to hold the bags together. But it's really not necessary. Okay, we have our bean hopper. Clear plastic, plastic cover, bean stopper. Okay, that's nice and easy. Believe it or not, I've seen grinders where this is really hard to pull out. So, good thing to test. And let's get opening on the grinder. Okay, staple, 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 staple. I am looking for the staple. The reason is this will hurt you, it will sting, but most important thing, even from stinging, is the staple on here might scratch your grinder. So always remove the staples from the packaging, the bags, whatever. That's why I don't like staples, but sometimes they're used. And this is, this is literally a heavyweight. This is heavy. Okay, it feels micrometrical uh, adjustment, burrs. I don't even know what size these are. I remember seeing it, but let me see here. Uh, this is their testing. Woo hoo hoo, I know. Read the manual, read the manual, Java Gem. Read the manual, let's see, where's English? They forget English, here we go. Troubleshooting, operations. Mm -mm -mm. I don't see anything about, the, oh, they talk about the packaging, wow. Impressive, because most, most Italian companies won't. I guess they call it 55, because it's, guess what? 55 millimeter burrs, there we go. Uh, dose, single, double, triple, and continuous. Uh, filter holder support with adjustable fork. So there's an Allen key screw here, but I don't see any Allen key tool. So that's, they should probably include the tool, but if not, just get one on the side. And then uh, let's see here, what else? 110 volts, 60 hertz. Uh, the Leo is 390 watts and the Leo 55 Essential is 310 watts. So you're getting a, a stronger motor, uh, 250 kilogram, and the weight of the grinder, 6.2 kilograms, which is probably around 14, 15 pounds. This is a heavy weight. Um, I'm gonna do a quick test and I'm gonna show you to see how really heavy it is. And uh, let's see here, they talk about the bean hopper installation. So, oh, that fits in nicely right there. They talk about the power button. Okay, so power button's in the rear, okay? Not crazy about the power button in the rear. Reason is, I like to power off the grinder when I'm not using it. So that means I gotta go to the rear and feel it, okay? So it's right back here. I prefer on the right, on the left side, uh, but there's people who's gonna prefer on the other side. So maybe the rear is better, or even maybe it should have been in the front. Can't change things now, they didn't ask me, but that's what I would advise them. But oh, I guess, look, I just found it. So not that bad. Again, I haven't touched one of these, so I am learning as you are learning. Uh, 110 volt plug, standard plug, 15 amp. This, I will need my scissors. Be careful not to cut the cord. So get that slotted in there, cut open. That tie wrap. Oh, and they put tape. Well, let me see if I could pull this out. Nope. No, sir. E. Okay, so we're gonna have to rip this. And that's okay. Yeah, they should probably not put this as tight because now we got to get in here with the scissors. So, and guess what? Makeup is gonna get my video. Uh, mention these little things. This, these are little. Okay. Wow, I gotta fight with the with the with the packaging, and you could probably guess why they cover this, which they really don't. They could put make it a separate compartment, but again, this is they need to loosen up on this packaging here. Put that there. Okay, where are we at? So we have that grinding adjustment. Okay, so they have a little. You'll get a close-up of this. There's a little mechanism here to show you where's the indicator. And then always remember, one of the top things I say is change the settings while the grinder's running, with or without beans, okay? Always change the settings while it's running. 
Okay, so uh, lower number, smaller particles. Bigger number, bigger particle size. Okay, so time and do dose adjustment. We'll go with those details at maybe some other time. Uh, there's a programming, how to do the programming. Triple dose, dose counter operation menu. Cleaning. Do not clean the machine by using metal abrasive devices. Well, or steel, wool, metal brushes, needles, or general detergents. In general, there is a cleaner by pulley calf for the bean hopper when it gets oily and musty and dirty. There's also another product, pulley grinds, I believe, that comes from Italy. And we do like the uh, Italian made stuff by pulley. They're, I believe they're pretty environmentally conscious. Uh, that's my take on them. Uh, and their products are good, better, I don't say good, but probably better for the environment. Uh, and then just a soft hairy cloth, maybe sometimes moist. Uh, don't pour water into the grinder. That's a big no-no. Trust me, I've been doing this 25 years. I've had customers pour water into the bean hopper into a grinder. So, uh, and then inactivity they talk about. Not bad for the instruction manual. So, I'm not going to read that rest of it. Let me get an extension cord here. We have holes here but we never use them for the, for the plugs because I can't reach in and get in there. So, okay, we have the grinder. We're gonna turn that on and it says, welcome. And now we have the make cap symbol or Mac cap. I like to say make cap, but they say Mac cap. Okay. And then I'm changing the settings. This has never been used, but let's see here. If we press the button Okay, that's in manual mode. So it counts seconds up. Okay, one cup, seven seconds. It counts it down. Okay, so it went for seven seconds. And it's actually one tenth of a second. Let's hit that button again. Two cup, 14 seconds. And manual, where's the triple dose? Probably gonna have to, let's see what we could do here. Oh, I held the button in and it locked it. So you can't change it. Let me hold the button in again. Unlocked. I will have to read the manual to get how to triple dose. So let's get some coffee. Same bag I used in a different video. Stale beans. Stale beans is actually good to test and season a grinder. Uh, especially seasoning uh, to get some, sometimes you might have a little metallic flavor. Uh, that typically doesn't come from the grinder, but uh, I like the season grinders. Let me put some in there. And we're right now on a setting 4.5. Let's open that up. Let's see something here. The stopper on the side is sticking out. I would actually, you could put it to the front, which looks good, or you could put it to the back and this is a pretty hard rubber over here to hold the bean hopper. No screw holder. Let's put that in. Close the stopper. Let's test this out. It's actually set for a decent espresso grind. Uh, and again, this is stale beans. All right, why aren't you using fresh? Again, season the grinder. So let's see if we can go. Let me put this over. And we're gonna go turn, I'm gonna run it and turn. Okay, let's see how fine this is. That's good. We got uh, another handful of beans here. Open the stopper, turn this over. It's almost like talc powder. That's how fine this can grind. This is, this is actually quite impressive. So now let me remove this. Actually, let me grind the rest out. Okay. And now I'm going to do my bump test. Let me look in here. Pretty clear. Why did I do the bump test? Bump test is to tell me What's the retention up in, inside here? And uh, there'll be a close-up of this. Uh, basically, it is extremely minimal, extremely minimal. And I think 
Macap, Maycap, um, and they're probably going to curse me out when I keep on saying the name wrong, but I think the nice part that they went after was to reduce the amount of retention that happens in here. Okay, why don't you want the retention? Well, coffee aficionados, espresso aficionados know why you don't want retention. That's coffee that goes stale. In general, okay, freshly roasted coffee is optimal at starting between the third, fifth, my rule, fifth day and seventh day after roast because it needs to uh, oxidize a little bit to get the carbon dioxide out, get the big bubbles out of the coffee. And then in general, that those beans, when you seal them, last seven days at optimal flavor profiles. And then the, uh, it starts degrading at the 14 day and the 21 day. And if you ever heard somebody say supermarket coffee, it's usually the 21 day and older coffee because it's been sitting on the shelf for 21 days. Yes, they have packaging. Yes, the coffee still be good. Yes, the Italian roasters have packaging dates that are two years out. Um, but And they have the one-way valves, which is good. Uh, but in, when you get freshly roasted coffee, especially from an American roaster, I like to try those beans starting at the fifth day after roast and then use them until the seventh day. Uh, after the five days. So basically at the 12 day after roast. But here, very, whew, retention is very, very little. If you have any questions or comments, please ask down below. I can't always answer them. Um, I try my best, but it's almost impossible. This grinder, uh, just right here on the initial review, uh, initial grind finest, uh, especially at, the, at this tiny, tiny, dust particle size with no choking and retention uh, i think we have a clear winner here i think we made the right decision to carry this grinder and um, take a serious look on our website make an order uh, they, i think they build a very very good product at, at this company again this is java jim with first line equipment thank you for watching please subscribe to our youtube channel give us a thumbs up on facebook instagram and have a great day, especially with coffee first and everything else second. Take care.